Hello, hi. Is everything okay? Can you like hear me and see me and and whatnot? Because like I didn't really test anything because there wasn't much time. Like the game was out oh an hour ago. So yeah, supposedly there was time, <laughs> but I just didn't didn't um yeah didn't probably take care of it. Yeah, I'm just checking if everything's okay. Everything's okay. Cool. Okay, so um we are playing a game that. I don't really need to introduce to anyone. We've been all waiting for it. We've been all so, so hyped about it. And it's finally here. It's been here for um, 55 minutes now. So yeah. <laughs> uh, and here I am playing chapter number one. Now, this game is a bit different when it comes to previous titles because they dropped the whole episodic thing. Um, they didn't entirely drop it. Like they still have chapters, but they released it all at once. Like, uh, you know, they do on Netflix and such. So we are playing chapter one out of five chapters and then we'll see what to do with the rest. Like I might stream the rest. I might record it tomorrow morning because for me it's like 7 p.m. And I really like playing and recording. Uh, oh, great. Thanks so much for letting me know. Great. Yeah. I'm good. I just came back from my holidays yesterday, but I don't want to talk about that right now because we are here to play the game. Hopefully the game works uh, well for everything and everyone. For everyone mostly, because like, <laughs> yeah, I hope it's a good game. Uh, I hear the reviews are pretty good. Uh, this is a Deck 9 game, so it will be different than Life is Strange. It won't be Don't Not style, so to speak. It will be Deck 9 style and some people find that good and some people don't really like that. Some people didn't really like Before the Storm as much. Now, I like Before the Storm, so I'm so hyped about that game. I've been listening to the soundtrack because it's on Spotify if you haven't checked it out properly. Hello, everyone. Yay, okay, so let's see if it works um, game-wise. Um, yeah, I do have a game somewhere here turned on, apparently. Yeah so self-centered it's just me on my screen <laughs> uh, is that okay okay let me know if you can hear everything it's like i mean the music and me and and the game and and whatnot Okay, good. I was waiting because like, you know, um, yeah, it was awkward, but it's just that when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, there's a small delay, basically. There's a small delay. So there's that. But everything's okay. Right, so I'm playing with my controller. It's a PS4 controller. So yeah, music is wonderful. Yeah, it's a PS4 controller. So it it says select A, but it's not exactly A for me. Anyways, I'm so hyped, right? I mean, you, you wouldn't know, but I am. <laughs> yeah, it looks so pretty. That's right, yeah. Uh, I don't know why it says buy Seth story. I think I did. But anyway, that, that's not an issue for now. Because it's still a while before we play the DLC. The DLC. I haven't watched any gameplay uh, apart from the trailers. Hi. Yeah, I haven't watched any any of these 15 minutes, half an hour gameplays. So let's let's do it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's here. Ah. Oh wait, I actually did watch that. So, <laughs> Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that oh, correct? Thank you. That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? 
Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Oh. Oh. That's so, like, minimalistic. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and change the controller thing then. Thank you. Thank you, Flynn. And thank you, Lucas. I appreciate this a lot. Oh, side A. Chapter 1. Oh, it has a name. Man, I should really, like, edit that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this starts just like Life is Strange 2. Thank you, Balash. I appreciate it. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry for that. I'm just gonna check one thing because I, th I think the controller thing might have a setting. Controller... Um, I don't think I will find it now. Controller bindings. Oh, but I don't see the thing. Anyway, I don't want to bore you. Sorry, I'm just gonna assume it works just like in any other, any other thingy. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna edit the title because it's tape side A, right? Side A. Yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> Did it edit? Okay. Sorry about that. Um, it's what it is. Oh, like... This looks like a Deck Nine logo on her backpack. The, the, the talking thing next to it is what it is. Use... Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's kind of sensitive, isn't it? Can I run? Or is it too heavy? Wow, this will take... <laughs> It will take us forever to reach places. Oh, I can't run. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could run. <laughs> okay, I reached... Uh, yeah, we don't have to run. That's a cutscene. Yeah. That I was going to say, my Patreon tapes are uh, titled Side A, Side B, and like whatnot. A Patreon podcast. Are the graphics okay? The game graphics. I'd rather be causing the chaos and laying at the sharp end of this night With every small disaster, I'll let the water steal Take me away to some place real Cause they say home is where your heart is set in Oh my freaking god, this is lovely. Oh, I think I can leave that. Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't 
I know it was probably nice for some of you, but like, um, yeah. Oh, also we are leaving the oh, songs, shit. of course. That's really him. <laughs> wow, he was running in such a weird way, like a bull. Oh, <laughs> charging. It's a protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years. Hug, handshake. What now? Okay, we're going to make her, you know, warm. Um, yeah. Although she is, um, oh man, I don't know which is which. Oh, ooh, I don't know. Then we might um, find out when I press it. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm X. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. Oh, crushing my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> Guys, is the game not lagging for you? It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. Oh man! What is happening? She's all grown up. <gasps> and I missed it. <gasps> Ooh! I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Yeah, Are I you think ready I. To see the town? Uh, okay. Which one is? I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah. I'm just cool. a little nervous. Thank you. Thank you. It should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> My control okay, is vibrating. Okay, the uh, Black vibrating. Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif. Owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Oh, that's awkward. Welcome. <laughs> oh. oh, she just jumped at me like a monkey. We are so glad to have you, Alex. <laughs> Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Oh, right. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Oh, that's the, the trailer. Welcome to Haven. Trailer. Trailer scene. Look at that. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did he say that he has a girlfriend? Is that hey, the girlfriend? Gabe. Meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college but... interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They can <laughs> smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest, be clever. Okay, we're going to be honest. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I've read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Do you think this will have consequences? What did you... Oh, yeah, let's be noisy. What uh, <laughs> exactly are you apologizing for? 
This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna be like, you know, uh, if these are her favorite, then she's probably getting them often, so I'm gonna be like Lily of the Valley. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am. And that I will. What if he dies because we picked the wrong flowers and then she kills him? Huh? You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. <laughs> More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. He has a tab. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Why does he have Might a... as well have a look around before we leave. Tab. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Oh, that's lovely. Like the, the fairy tale in the hook. Approach the object and use whatever um, to interact. Gardening books. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Should we read that? Oh, there's music playing. The perfect flower bed, making the magic garden real. Oh, lovely music again. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Oh, should we talk to the girl? Hold out you and then to see the emote. Oh! Oh! She's like purple. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Oh, so we don't want to be here. What if I don't get in? Okay. Yeah. Shit, <laughs> what if I do get in? Okay. Am I really ready to leave this place? Aw, I wonder who they are. Aw. Cute, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Okay, so we are having a convo here. Wait, I got stuck here. Oh, I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. <laughs> she said while looking at sunflowers, birdhouses. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Tiny house movement. Oh, there's a gnome. Oh, this is... I bet this is a tell me why reference. Or maybe it's not. This gnome has been places. He looks like Zoltan from um, Nuisha. What are you doing to him? Oh, we're playful, okay. Perfect. Okay, that made her happy. Cool. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> oh no, she's a pun person. Who was a pun person? Someone was, right? Door. Should we leave? Greeting cards. Should we buy one to ourselves? Greet ourselves? Good one, huh? Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? Ooh. That's a shame. We can get watering can for that lady outside. The one that Balash said that uh, she's the killer. <laughs> that she could be the killer, it's not a spoiler. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Okay, Alex is pretty cool. Um, gardening books, we already checked that out. Should we, like, go to the back? of the place? Should we? Employees only. And employees only. And employees only. Wow. Well, clearly I'm not wanted in here. Is she having other thoughts? Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. She's gonna say the same thing again, right? What if I don't get in? Okay, I'm sorry. Shit. What if I do get in? Um, Am can I, I really ready to leave this place? Okay. Right, so we are pretty certain what she's thinking, right? Because I played that three times now. We can leave it. 
leave. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. Yeah. I'm done. Ready. Oh man, I feel like I Thanks. screwed up. See you soon, Rai. She didn't give a shit. I'm sorry. Oh look, am I supposed to follow him? How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Oh, about three years now, I think. Oh, you must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yep. Sorry, what? Watch are your you... feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with ladder work. Enough with the feet. Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. I'm just saying my Uncle Albert fell off a ladder once when he was repainting his roof. Beautiful mahogany color. You should have seen it. Anyway, broke his whole arm. The whole thing. Sounds okay. Awful. I don't know if I should be... He couldn't feed himself for a month. Why didn't he use his other arm? Why do I still hear it? These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. <laughs> you should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Well, here we are. What is that? Wow. Good to know. Typhon Mining Company, automatic blasting. Oh! Automated blasting? <gasps> Warning sirens will sound prior to detonation. <gasps> oh, I bet this is important to the game. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Diego. So far, uh, so far, I don't play Life is Strange, but I will, on the other hand, have you played Detroit? Yeah, I did play Detroit Become Human. It's on my channel. Thank you so much, Diego. Uh, the gameplay is on my channel, I mean. Oh, yeah. This is what I meant, and this is what I mean. He's thinking something. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Yet he thought about his girlfriend first. What does it matter? Should we... Oh, look. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. Do you think this is how he dies? And that mining blow up? Mining accident? It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, oh kind of creepy. Hi there. <laughs> Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. Oh. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, uh, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the fire thing. Um, vanishing. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. <laughs> she says so, but she made a um, I don't care type of an expression. <laughs> she doesn't really care. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This uh, is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a <laughs> bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. That sounds scary, boy. Oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. Now it's cool. Promise you'll be careful. Promise you'll be careful. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. 
Well, someone will I think die. I'll check out that record store. <gasps> nice meeting you, Ethan. Oh, that's the record store. Oh, we just walked away. So we don't care about his force, no? We don't. Oh, man. What is happening over there? Oh, wow. Oh, man, that I remember. That I actually watched. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's true. I like him better than Daniel, this place too. This reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. That I Except remember. this time, I'm buying the record. Firework. Firework reference. Oh my gosh. No way. <gasps> ah, look at her. Yeah. Here we go again. Oh man, I really thought we knew each other when I watched that part of the gameplay. Oh, uh... A unicorn sandwich zombie parade. Which one did we go for in the... in the... We didn't. In the trailer, in the gameplay part. Okay, I'm gonna go unicorn. How does this have consequences? Boy! Katie. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. <laughs> okay, so she's just gonna dance now, right? Wow, well, I'll do the card thing. Oh, okay. Oh, Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. <laughs> wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Still deciding, cool so far. Should we be like cold? Yeah, I think she's cold, still deciding. Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Oh. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. Outdoors. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Different, uh, the Different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> The National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. Oh. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. Oh, that music. Yeah, it really so reminds me of don't daughter. Work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know 
I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Add to... Oh, hold to move Alex faster. Oh, cool. Okay, so I needed to be told. <laughs> I needed to be told that. Or else I wouldn't be able to do it. Right. Hold case. Gabe's record is in here. But which one is it? Action figures. These are clearly stuff. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Oh, if you want to know the song, they're all on Spotify. There's a playlist and everything's there. Oh! In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? What? Oh, Poland! Made in Poland in the 1930s! It belonged to Igor Sobieski, a renowned clarinetist and survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947 where he founded Sobies Movie, a music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor, Igor eventually retired to Heaven Springs. Wow! Cool! You're welcome. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Yeah, it does. Imagine doing that your whole life. I mean, we kind of are, aren't we? <laughs> Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got Sheet. there. Sheet music. It's been so long since I've played. <gasps> Drum kit. Awesome. Oh, I forgot. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Touch and die. <gasps> Are you trying to die? I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. The stuff we haven't checked yet. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Radio booth. I love that this town has their own radio station. Oh, I can't check out her thoughts. Whoa. Um, okay. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. Uh, excellent. Steph used to write notes. All right, I forgot. Thanks for letting me know. I forgot. Steph picks. Right, Steph picks. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color oh. me impressed. <laughs> cool. Um, Bulletin board. How very small town. Red Rock Summer Concerts giveaways. Oh, that's it. All right. I thought there would be more. I know, I know I passed the cat. I'm gonna go back to it. <laughs> I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I will. Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, you will. Damn right you will. Oh my gosh, she's playing her own music. Oh. <laughs> So, this is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. It still doesn't feel real. Like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. Walking Scott Street, feeling like a stranger. With an <laughs> open heart, open container. I've got a stack of mail. Oh, kitty, kitty. 
kitty. Helicopters over my head. Every night when I go to bed. Spending money and I earned it. Bothers me that I can hear two songs, you know. <laughs> Okay, so who picked that song? It's really cool that they did. Wait, okay, I'm gonna go back to the cat. I know it was there. Hello? Wait. Is that the hold list? Yep. Um, scare. Oh, man. Move. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, I just... <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Wait. Give me a hand. Right. Oh, wait. Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Okay, he's not really thinking. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. Oh, did we try to help him at all? So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Banjo dubstep, a cappella screamo. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. <laughs> Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Yeah, it is a bit weird that we can't really, you know, do anything, right? Like draw or photo. A good place for toy safekeeping. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah. And sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Wait, did we actually find out? Maybe that drawer? In the gameplay? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. <laughs> you mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Uh -huh. mm, nothing. No? Right, that didn't work. Maybe in the junk box. Ah, huh. and we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> That's a moose, right? That's a moose. I don't know. Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Wow. The death thing was, um, yeah. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? That worked. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. I believe she's still dancing in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, staff, grade school group project. Kings of Leon. Oh yeah, I did read it. Should have known. Phone. Okay. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Dork, badass dork. <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. 
Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. Wow, you're making me pay. Yeah, I mean, of course you are. (gasps) Oh, she's thinking. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. (sighs) It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if... You gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Hmm, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> oh, so I'm organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Oh, she ignored me. Okay. That's fine. Are you okay? Never better, better now. Sorry, I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Oh. Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Talking about birds, checking, talking about birds. You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. Mm-hmm. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? (laughs) Okay. By the way, (laughs) Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Wait, so we get messages. I want to see where to check them. Yeah, it's a weird, bit weird seeing people without masks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do I enter that freaking phone thing? I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. Yeah. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. Yo, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Don't look at me. Do you, man. (laughs) But I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche. Good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. He's like a father now. Wow. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? <gasps> oh my god. Ah! <gasps> Oh, ah, 
I'm gonna wait until you catch up because I don't know what to do. Keep Ethan's secret. Tell Gabe. Uh, tell Gabe. Keep. I mean, mine's are dangerous and he's just a kid. And we don't know that he doesn't know, right? Like, technically, he could know. I think I'm gonna tell Gabe. I think that's what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Yeah, tell him. I think so. We can't really be like, hey kid, you can go and explore the mines on your own, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, <laughs> he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Uh -huh. We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. Y you did the right thing. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm a what snitch. What do you say we get to shadow then? I'm a snitch, but like a moral snitch, you know? The good kind of snitch. So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? oh. Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> just about? <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not <laughs> possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Yeah, this should be on the channel later on. This should be on the channel once it processed. So it might take some hours, but it, it will be on the channel. <laughs> Who's laughing? Oh, it's a bar. Why are we laughing? I want to check my phone. I need to, yeah, check the key bindings, like you said. Do we live Shit, man. Uh, with Charlotte too? And with that boy? Or... Well, they've been together for three years, so... This is hmm. all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could do. No, no, I'm gonna be like, it's really nice. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is 
Great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. <gasps> I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Oh. What do you mean, mine? What do you mean? What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. This is so nice. Gabe. I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. A jet will kill me if that happens again. This sure is thing. so big for one person. There's fish. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You're still you. Didn't expect the beard. You're still you. You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. <laughs> I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Hope that's nice for Thanks. him. <laughs> Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Oh, we actually grabbed it? Cool. Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. What? I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, <laughs> I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Oh, I listened to that on the Spotify playlist. That's really nice. Oh, I can't get over this. It feels just like old times. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. It's too late. Uh, go get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go get him, bro. Okay. No, that's, I don't like this. <laughs> Lifetime of practice! <laughs> Doesn't he Return. like start his shift in 10 minutes or so? Let's all you. Here's how it's done. Fine. Oh, <gasps> wow. <laughs> He has drums all over the room. <laughs> you haven't lost a beat. <laughs> oh. Give me a sec. Yeah! What the hell? Hey, Mac. Oh. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Ooh. Oh, good. 
because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now. No, 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 not here, no, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. Oh, man. <gasps> oh. What? Wait. He's not Stay. Stay. Uh. The fuck. The fuck. Oh. Away from her. Away from him. Wait. I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm charging. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa, wow. Oh man. So aggressive. Oh man, Alex, stop. Stop, stop. Alex, stop. Stop. Alex. Ah. Ah. Oh, she has issues, man. Wow. Gabe, I didn't. It's okay. She really needs therapy or something. Wow. Go. Uh, well, I you just can both go fuck yourselves. I'm, I kind of see his point. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. <gasps> oh man, but like we did defend him, right? So that's unfair that he would get mad. I mean, we we hit him um, in a heat fuck. of a moment. Oh, Raj, she took his anger. Yeah. That makes sense. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Yeah, I, I, I thought so, yeah. Oh, that was so intense. Guys? Wait. You know, she really reminded me of Rachel a bit when Rachel was in her phases, in her screaming moments, if you will. You know what I'm talking about, I know you do. I'm okay. Oh, I feel for her. Oh, man. <sighs> That's sad. <sighs> I'm okay. I'm okay. This place is huge for one person. What the hell? I guess I might as well unpack. Okay, see, now's the time to find the... Uh... What did I do? Phone. Wait, okay, I have to see how to check that. Um, gameplay. Key bindings. Use power use. Open pause. Okay, this doesn't tell me anything. Interact. Use power. Move right. Interact. Power vision. Use power. Recent a camera. Open journal. Open pause. Oh man, I don't know. See, it's not really working. Nothing's really working. Okay, so I use the mouse. I can do that too. But that's that's my fault. Why why is it like that? Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind then. I don't know how I opened that. Oh man, I can't really do anything with... What is that? That's some sort of a... Yeah. 
Aww. Huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Dog Day. All our kiddos will be safe from splinters. Right? Heaven Springs Birding Society. Okay, that's a thing. We are proud to announce this year's birding competition. Okay. Gabe, I want to wish a huge happy birthday to Heaven's one and only nerdy bird loving Luke. Oh, Ryan Lucan, the word Lucan, the world became a better place when he was born. Forty seven years ago, right. A little off with the age. Twenty four. Okay, so he's twenty four. Cool. Dead. Oh, that's his dad. Jade. Right, okay. We didn't know that. Uh, I still ha I, I still don't know how to enter the how to enter the a, a text messages thing. That's really annoying, you know. Like mouse, it doesn't really. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God. Hey, Alex. This is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Nice meeting you too. Sounds good. You know, I would be weirded out if I just met someone and I'd get a message like that. Yeah. Hey Alex, it's Steph. Sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the lantern tonight. You too. Okay, am I doing double standards here because this doesn't sound as creepy as what Ryan sent? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally doing double standards. Oh man. Okay, so some people don't really have... Chelsea. Oh man, we spoke a lot. Hey Alex, it's Chelsea. Thank you so much for your help with Harley last night. My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. Glad you're okay. Oh, so we helped someone. Chelsea. I didn't think I was going to get any birthday because it was beautiful. Uh, 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 do you have any spare what? Pads. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough. These things happen. It's no reason to be weirded out. Now, Chelsea, I have something important to tell you and I won't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado and live with my brother. Leaving you was the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. I just know that I'm always on... Okay, I phone call away. Congrats. Don't be sorry. I'm happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? Well, we didn't talk much. Gabe. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we spoke more to him. Alex, who is this? Alex Chen. Sorry, who is this? It's Gabe. Oh, man, this is so recent. Is this some kind of some sort of a joke? No, you don't. Call me right now. Hey, it was so rad catching up yesterday. Chatting and later. Yeah, sure. How was your weekend? Okay, so three days apart. Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. How about you? Finally listened to the new Paint Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. Rips. Ever seen them live? Not yet. Alex, sorry, haven't texted. Things are crazy busy. Things are weird right now. Dealing with it. Do you need help? I'm okay. Okay, this is pretty generic, but I'm gonna assume they also talk over the phone, you know. Duck, duck. Ah. Uh, what? Low, hey, bad. Have you been drinking? No, this is my natural state. Go to bed. Oh, fuck. I drunk texted you. <laughs> Offer stands. Having school. Hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you alright? Alex, please call me when you get this. It's been shitty, shitty. Let me know if you need anything. <clears throat> Will do. I can't believe you're coming. Yes. Okay, so this happened. Tomorrow is the big day you need anything. Okay, so this is all happening in 2019, April. I'm good. I don't have much to carry, you know. <clears throat> so way before pandemia. Well, not way, but like six months. I'm so excited. Oh, this is Charlotte. Was okay as boyfriend. You were right. Um, you were right. Lilies. Oh. Feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. Okay, so I was right with Lilies. By the way, I invited you to the neighborhood on my e-blog. Okay. I think that's what I checked out. Bridget. 
Don't fucking think you belong in our family. <gasps> Whoa, okay, then is this Bridget? No, you're not gonna stay. We go back to where you came from. This is um, not, uh, not cool. Jean. How is this Jean? To whom am I speaking? Alex, Stacy gave me your number. I'm still selling. <gasps> what? Selling what? Okay. Mariella. Oh, we talked plenty. How is this still your number? Oh my god, Alex. Hey, Marie. So good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? My amazing decision making abilities got me to some problem. Of course, our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in if you think so much. Pull you back. Merry Christmas, Alex. Hope you are someplace warm. Hey, Marie. Uh, no, she's a... Mm -hmm. I ended up back in the group home. Oh, man. We went through a lot. Oh, good. I already added her to my won't be sad if murdered list. Hey, Marie. I bought the latest vinyl. Okay, vinyl, vinyl. Thanks, I promise. How are you? Okay, that's too long for me to read. I have stopped being interested right now. However, I do want to check the Dr. Lin thing. Uh, Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it, Alex? Punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor are a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands. Oh, strike one. I'm sorry, lost track of time. Per our session yesterday to pilot the self, thyself. Right, thanks. <laughs> I hope you find it helpful just checking in. Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think she'll, uh, you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. Oh, how are you? Where are you? Your things are gone. Alex, please get in touch. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak to you before I leave. Are you settled in? Yes. May I stop by your room? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter. Please know that I'm here. This color has been blocked. Yeah, we blocked them. I saw that in the comic book. There are Life is Strange comic books. No. Oh, what is that? Tessa Anger. Bitter and jealous and a little uh, queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. I split her lip open. <gasps> oh, so we hurt people. Yeah, we absorbed their emotions and then we hurt them. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get a special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So there will be business as usual until a new group comes in and says... I promise I was, uh, are we writing music? No favors, no favors, no secrets, no coming my way. She's playing music. Isabel, English. I tried to write this so many times and they all ended up in trash. Let's see how I found. I really liked Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint and smuggled in a few beers for us. But her depression was brutal. It, it crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and i had to focus just to keep breathing like dipping your ribcage in that's difficult that has to be difficult two bottles of sedative staying in vomit her eyes open and busy and afraid oh i'm sorry i thought we could have stayed friends i wish you could have stuck around for a little longer jesus memories we don't have any memories well that's done Gabe always wanted a bike like this. What is playing? Crack. Oh. Look. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left in Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> um, I think this this was kind of important, right? Gabe was still trying to find Dad when he got here. Dad, okay. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. 
Gabe Chen, Gabe. Got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I say. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you are the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Wow. What is playing? Oh, that. Okay. How did he get this up here? My hand. Oh, that's... I, I don't know. Okay. Climb up. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Where am I? Oh, this is like a mining game, for real. Okay, I'm supposed to avoid the ghost, so I'm gonna do that. I think we have to go faster. Okay, oh no, no, we won't make it. Oh no. Ooh! Will I kill the ghosts now? What is this thing that we got? Climb down, avoid mm -hmm, power up. What am I supposed to do here? This is like Mario Brothers and Sash. Oh shit. Oh, <gasps> oh we're screwed! <laughs> Yeah, we're screwed. Are you sure you'd like to leave the arcade? Yeah, whatever. That's really nice, but yeah, we're doing something else here. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Heaven Springs. Um. Oh, events free. Oh, so does um, Gabe and don't recognize most of these other people. I keep hearing that game. Board game. Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Wow, we can't even enter our own room. Wow, we're gonna go and check out other stuff then. This is a lovely place. Like, this is actually so wonderful that he gave it to us. We didn't even get to finish the song. Oh, yeah. Is that a sword? Wait, so he got that from Charlotte, but like... Uh, I think... I think... Foreshadowing. Oh man, I think he should have taken it with it, right? That's his, as a gift. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Dino Racer 2. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Oh, Gabe. Okay. <laughs> Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Oh, that's really cool. That's really nice. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. This is the most important. Let's discuss it over wine. I love you. Let's discuss it over wine. Wow. Photo. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? ERCT. I'm not certain what that means. Oh, oh wow. Charlotte made this? <gasps> Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. Wait, wait, I saw some photo in here. Okay, medals. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. <laughs> yeah, okay, there's a photo there. Probably with Charlotte. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Aww. So sweet. Wait, do we have like an incentive here? Or are we just... Okay, I'm gonna open the drawer.
Alex? Alex. Do I want to know? Do you think we'll be giving another big choice? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oh, yeah. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We're glad to see you're doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system and we won't know where she lives now. Oh. oh. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. <laughs> wow. Dude named Adam. That's pretty sweet that he was looking for us. For me. Okay, um, yeah, there's likely that I'm gonna check the rest. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Oh, get dressed. Interact with the dresser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I did get, I think, the outfits. I think so. <gasps> Whoa, look at us. Do we have the extra? <gasps> oh, look, there's a Chloe reference right there. Oh, but I don't... Okay, we're gonna keep that because you know why. <laughs> but I thought that... I thought that I got the outfits back. Oh, never mind then. Open. This is such a nice place. I can't believe that this is actually like... Unpack Shushu. Wow, aren't we giving the vibes? Oh god. <laughs> Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but... I was hoping we were done with that. What should we do with Shushu? We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? Yippee. Arpa comic. Oh! Life is strange one. I bet. No. Oh yeah, no. That's the one we were giving. An old Ethan's friend. really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Wait, this might be a foreshadow. The tunnel to the monster stronghold of Demenheim collapsed. I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard long dead from the looks of it. Blood. The trail seems to end here unless hollow. He must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent, but you may still be as you of use to me. That glow beyond the peak that must be the stronghold's black gate. Ethan coming. Do we have more stuff? Yeah, I bet we do. <laughs> do you think our rainbow blouse is subtle enough for Steph to get the reference? Huh? I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple of times for a place to stay and now he's harassing me. I'm also leaving Burnside. The supervisor is a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll help you, hit you up in a new situation. Oh, that's it? At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready, I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. <gasps> oh no! The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. Should have known better. I'm sorry I made you f I made things worse for you. Good luck I out really there. wish those meds had worked. Oh. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sun up to sundown. 
Real talk, though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we've met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us. Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Charlie's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Oh. Okay, I think we've been through everything now. Wait, did we unpack, like, properly? Photo. Oh, we have the same photo, but like half Crazy of it. Crazy how much we've changed. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, we aren't fond of our dad, huh? Probably for a good reason, too. Yeah. Unpack journal. We already read that one, right? My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Oh, we're gonna describe the dude that, um, you know, angered us. It's happening. Please, so please. Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. Shit. Mac, anger. It all started with a knock. I think I thought something off before Gabe even opened the door like something was slipping under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there's a mark and that familiar feeling of dread that I always come, that it always comes when I know I'm losing control and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone and it's going to happen and then no one can make me stop. Max anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else it was under his skin burning that feeling like hot cords grinding grinding around behind your ribs it's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world it's such a relief when it's over when your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from hummingbird to lazy jack hammer it's such a relief <gasps> man Ugh. I'll finish this later. Oh my gosh, I tired her off. I tired her off. <laughs> oh, we found something. <gasps> Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Wow, he hit no it. No fucking way. He definitely hit it well. Can't wait to hear you shred. Oh my gosh, we're gonna play. No way. <gasps> That's lovely, it's amazing. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before... <gasps> Creep! Couldn't look you in the eye. Oh, no! Dress like an angel. <gasps> Your skin makes me cry. Oh man. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I 
wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep makes you happy whatever you want you're so very special god I wish I was special but I'm a creep oh. I'm a weirdo what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. I love that song. And you know what I have to say? I absolutely love Alex. She's uh, one of the most complex protagonists we've ever seen, if not the most complex one. Because Max, like, you know, she was just... Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. Max, like, she had no idea what she was doing, to be honest. I should go downstairs <laughs> and set things right with Gabe. Yeah, we will, but we didn't check the... Thank you. The Riley letter. Yeah, I thought this was important, you know. Bri, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Yeah. Jealousy can be so shitty, you know? Anyway, yeah, Max didn't know what she was doing. Um, Sean was just going along with the flow <laughs> to Mexico or whatever. And like Alex, oh my god, it's like she's carrying the burden of the world, of the, of the, of the world on her shoulders. Like, can you imagine everyone's feelings and you, you're not only like, um, Brian, just forget it. you absorb Stop. them. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go- well, Ryan knows what he's doing now, you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Falling, rising, I don't know. Rising. Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh no, oh, that's <laughs> good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. He's a great kid, cooler than gay. Okay, he's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. 
He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Oh, thank you. Beef Everyone. pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. <laughs> That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah. Same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. See, we're wearing a rainbow blouse, and like every every female is all over us. <laughs> oh, he's there. <gasps> oh no way! This is our first date. <laughs> So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh, oh man, I would freak out. Go with Gabe's story. Uh, no, come clean. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work. If experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. Wait, what? Thanks. Dude, I just got All here. Right. <laughs> so, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Oh, right. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. <gasps> you can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Oh, man, I just it's come really here. really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Like, I I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Oh. So we have, like, objectives. Where? I don't know. Where? Oh, things to do. Check on Dukey and Diane. Check on staff. Clear the table in the back. Okay, I'm gonna check on Dukey and Diane. Can I get you to anything? <laughs> Miss Chen! Here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of bizarre, kind of perfect. Uh, perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's... Kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. <laughs> Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. I already forgot what they ordered. My dad was in the service. Something special, fries and some burger. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Ducky? Why did I go say ahead. Ducky? <laughs> A cheeseburger with mushrooms. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. And fries special. Uh -huh. And? Pie special with fries, pie special with onion, pie special with mushrooms, pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Yeah, it really... for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. 
I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Yeah, I really like the background music, oh, too. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. Deputy. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. Can't get over the fact that we're there just... There must be <laughs> something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Wait, he's, uh, he's thinking something. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Right, and he's thinking too. They're both are. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Oh wow. Well, he got a thing, but he's it's gone now. Oh no, it's still there. Speak. Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the <laughs> night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. Well, really? I would never give my phone away like that. Are you kidding me? For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Nice. Oh, wait, wait. A, an actual bear? Poor ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. What are we reading? It has not been easy being your daughter. You cannot simply say you are lonely and expect that I will forget my first 20 years. I will think about your request. The kids are all doing well. I have shown them. Oh, poor guy. Wow. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, old snooping thanks habits. For letting me know. Okay, there's a deputy. There's a deputy somewhere in here. We're gonna find him. Typhon's not a bad company. Oh, is that really Ryan? Is that really Ryan? Why are you, you saying that? To how they operate. We've known him for like five minutes. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Starting over from scratch like this. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling yeah, me. Guess. The way they do things is just so. Aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Um. Okay. I got rid. An an official council meeting will be held on May to decide. Measure. This is measure proposes saying property. Not for leaving my phone on. Was okay. I really, really want to go to her, but like, that looks radioactive. Okay, I really want to go and talk to. Her. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. There should be a cockroach somewhere as a, you know, a reference. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we can interact with objects too. Thanks for driving me home, Pike. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... Holy shit, is it snowing? Sure is. Wait, what? Did he say that it's snowing? Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Ryan's got better supplies. Oh, I can't go there. Okay. Well, I work here. One would think that I would be able to go there. Okay, I'm gonna sure, go to I, Steph, I but... Wait, what was the thing to walk faster? Oh, I can't enter the back, even though... I'm a worker here, an employee. This, this one's from yesterday. Hold up. 
It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Oh, but it wasn't there. Maybe you'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Blasting cups. Wait, what? Guess these were for mining. Guess they are. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Shit. Rest in peace, mister. Right, okay. So what you're saying is that whiskey is upstairs. Anyway, let's do the thing that we're supposed to. And then we'll talk to Steph. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. We should go and check him out. This pants. Wait, wait. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Ah, uh, right. How mysterious. Emilia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for his beautiful rooftop garden. She died of influenza. The identity of her husband remains a mystery. Okay. Let's check him out. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Can we talk? Wow. I messed Mac up pretty good. Though, like, he doesn't mind that I'm here. <laughs> Clean up. Holy shit. Uh, oh, Can man. I talk to you real quick. No way. I mean, yeah, sure. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mainly you. What's your point? Max seems like the Nathan of Life is Strange. Yeah, he does, totally. He does have that vibe. And. Yeah, I'm not really blaming the guy like I am, but at the same time, you know, what's your point? <laughs> Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you want me to lie? You're awful. You want me to lie? So, you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, please, help me out. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Oh, I didn't really need to lie. Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation, or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Look at me creeping up on them. Just... Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. No. <gasps> what? Don't accuse him. Okay. Um. Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? Call out Mark's bullshit. Avoid further trouble. Oh, man. I don't know what to do now. Because, like... I don't feel like it's my business. I've known them for like five minutes. But then again, he did assault my brother in front of me. Like he actually attacked him. 
you know? Like, he was pretty aggressive. He was kicking him. He pushed him and um, Gabe hit his head, right? Tell her, people are saying, tell her. Yeah? Any other opinion, guys? Tell. Oh, aren't you guys, like, moral and all? <laughs> yeah. Call out Max bullshit. Tell, tell, tell. Should we? That was not okay. I would avoid further trouble. Tell her. Avoid further trouble. I don't, I don't know. Like I feel like this is what the game wants me to do. Uh, but call out Max bullshit. Avoid further trouble. Whoa. He was pretty, pretty aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna call, call out. Oh, I'm so stuck. Ah! <laughs> I, I really don't know, because, like, I really feel like it's none of my business. But then again, he was really aggressive. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna call it out. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. You know what? Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we... still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No! Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first <gasps> day here, huh? What? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna take you in for questioning. What about Mark? Wait, what? I, I didn't talk to Steph. <gasps> oh my gosh. What about Mark? Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> oh, <face>. thank God. <gasps> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? No. Um, maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> God, I forgot we're still looking for a whiskey. Wait, because, like, there are some comments that I want to show, show, show. Show. Yeah, sorry. Because I'm sort of modding myself today. My mods are also playing the game. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I got so scared, too, you know. I thought that, I thought that uh, they wouldn't allow me to talk to Steph. You know what? That probably freaked me out, so I'm just gonna rush to her That's with my hysterical. with my rainbow blouse and, you know, we're... Yeah. Look. That's the girl from the record store. Steph. She doesn't have any thoughts. <laughs> Yay! Check. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Do you oh, need no. anything? Okay. I think so. Anything? Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. <gasps> Ooh. Who are you sitting with? Oh my god, already jealous? Wow, Alex, chill. What, what are you... Uh, who are you sitting with? So, are you, um... Here with somebody? Or... Ah! 
That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Yeah, I already looked. What are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Of course. Remind me. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. Oh. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Ooh, I would give it a try. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions, where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? You're wrong. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. That's like, there's so many songs so, in the world. I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to Steph next time because we don't want to lose <clears throat> a convo by accident. Straight to Steph it is. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. How do you play that game? So, what do you want to ask me? Ichthyos is hmm. pre sheets to the wind. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Scroll through albums. Think of the children, alabaster, strong song title questions. I don't get it. Cover art questions, band name questions. Think nasty, blame the monkey. Oh, check race. Endurance for exercise, mind and damn porridge. Grant McGovern, Seward's Folly, Sandra Styles, Vermillionaire, The Pachydelics, Fusky and Wogs, The Who Knows, Theatres, Yes, I Was Saying, Oh my god, this is impossible. Has a person's name? Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Nope. Okay. okay. It doesn't, okay. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh, yeah, it totally does. Okay, so nice. no no name and a symbol. So we have ad here. Okay, so we have that ad thing. But there has to be more, right? Oh, the fuck the wig. So we have that one and that one. Oh, and the nasty thing. Right. Uh, cover art. Picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Right. Oh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. Is I that know, an right? animal? You've got two questions left. No animal. I think that's a monkey, right? So I'm gonna go to the other one with the symbol. This one, no animal, so this could be it. And there's also the at one. Oh, it has ants. So, like, I think that's going to be that. Song title question. Curse word. Curse, yeah. So, does the song title have a curse word in it? 
A curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Kiss up Last and question. Me. Yeah, all right, I know. Oh, man. Cover art questions. People on cover has the band. People Are there people on the cover? No. Okay, I think that's yeah, it. No. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. The band name does have a symbol in it. Yeah. No curse words in the song title. Kiss up and shot No me. animals on the cover. No that has people to be. on the cover. Yeah. Think that's enough to figure it out? Yes. We'll see. That's it. What is recap? <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. Oh! Oh! I'm so satisfied. I, yes, I I'm actually, drinking? Glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Oh, we still don't know about that whiskey. Hey, Alex. Ducky's Ducky's whiskey. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> So, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? No, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating oh, I did. evidence. Actually, I did see Ducky up there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Well, worth looking again could be some clues. I, I, I don't want to drink with well, them. I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Unless it's worth it. But, you know what? I think I'm going to, like, check upstairs. Like, go upstairs. Because I think this is where the whiskey is, right? So I'm guessing we have to check the sofa. Or, like, next to the sofa. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. There's no sofa. It should be around here, right? Search. Ha! We have it. Read. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Back. Cool. I'm such a good waiter, waitress. Maybe I should consider doing Found that. Found upstairs. In Gabe's couch? What a relief. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure. Put in a good word. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no. No. Allow me. Oh, to I'm Miss drinking. Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Have you noticed there's so much alcohol in that game so far? <laughs> oh. <sighs> I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Yeah, we'll see, uh, but there's also, yeah, no that. Gabe, crack, Mark Riley, letter, business. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. My dad was in the service. Oh, I also want to see if he's, she's not really thinking. Okay, I'm going to go to him. 
Uh, so far, I haven't only spoken to that cop, but... Oh man, I can't really approach him from that side. It's like I work here, but I'm not really welcomed um, in the in here. Oh, good. Damn boys, always oh. fighting. Time to. Yeah. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yes. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. That really was fast. How are you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? Oh, he's working here. Right, I forgot about that. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Wow. Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Okay. But I guess Gaben some... has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Hi, hey, Alex. Wait, who messaged us? I got phone... Um, I got some texts, right? No? Never mind then. Never mind then. I hope you're all okay, guys. Today and in general. <gasps> oh, man, that's lovely. Look. This is beautiful. How's your jaw? Silent treatment. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. He's not really speaking. Look, Gabe, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I Oh, cool. I'd have a beer right now. There's so much alcohol in that game. For real. <laughs> that gay shirt among flowers. What? I... Hidden cooler. Did you rehearse that move? <laughs> Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person, that I can kick your ass. That I'm a crazy person. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. Oh, man, I feel for her, you know? That's fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac, and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. I fought a lot. Didn't you go to juvie? I fought a lot. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say.
I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him about your past, tell him about your power. Oh, but it's not really a choice. It's like, um... Huh. Past or power? That's interesting. Tell him about your power. Tell him about your past. <laughs> I don't know, because um, it's not really a choice. Like, I don't mind telling him about both. Either. Really. Tell him about your power. But I feel like if I suddenly speak about some powers... But then again, it would explain um, everything that's happened today in front of him. Like, he did see it. So I'm gonna say power. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. Very hard to prove. And if they show. feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened... ...for a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, I just feel it, dude, when... Ah, oh, man, it's really hard to believe. Like, we barely just met, really, and I'm just here talking about powers. <laughs> no. No one told me that. I just... feel it. He looks at me like I'm crazy. You sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Doesn't work like that, you need more beer. Doesn't <laughs> work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. I actually do expect you, you're him like to, going inside their heart. To believe me. <laughs> I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> he believed me just like that. Now I wonder what's wrong with him. <laughs> More like a super curse. Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me? You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there, that's... that's really special. He believed me, just like that. Wow. Broken. 
I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips. But you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. I really like him, you know? It really sucks. So, when were you gonna tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. What's wrong? Why? Oh, that bo think. boy. <gasps> oh. Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. Oh, shit. He I went think he went up to the mountains. Oh. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh no. I think, yeah, I think the comic that Ethan drew. Yeah, they're gonna enter the mine and then Gabe will, you know, you know what I mean. You see it coming, don't you? Is that the one that's supposed to be blown up? Ethan? Ethan! Fish. Come on, pick up, pick up. This is scary, you know? If that was a Alex. Daniel, I would leave him. <laughs> okay. Good one. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Don't you... Why don't you come here? Okay, I, I swear I read Why won't you come here? And I was like, wow, hitting on him now, Alex. How worried should we be? <laughs> Should I be, I don't know, <laughs> freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. I wonder if they wrote that before the meme came to exist. Always has That's been. Good. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey, we're gonna find him. I hope they yeah. don't let me inside. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Wow. Of course. They're really validating I'm my go choice. Take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. Are you crazy, man? How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? What? 
landed a job on my first day. Oh, right. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Ducky. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in heaven. Thank you, Ducky. Okay, you see, this is ruining the ambience right now. He literally left me next to a mine. Nope. 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 Shit. Nope. Okay. <gasps> what the hell? Zombie? This is creepy, you know? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Uh -huh. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? Good. Nomadic pig. Oh, wait. Okay. Are they drinking here? The real monster here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close. But mining equipment is super murdery. The music is so troubling, you know? Mine notice. Oh, I can actually run. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I've read that before. Okay, they're there, but I'm gonna try and open the gate. So it seems like I did something to find him. <laughs> Maybe Anything. Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Yeah, it does have um, vanishing of Ethan Carter vibes. What if I just find him, you know? That would be all avoided. Did my m choices matter at Ooh. all? A murder barn. Did my choices matter at all? Because it feels like they didn't. Like, it feels like he would... D uh, he would have done it anyway? If, uh, the boy? What's his name? Already forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I'm sorry. Mine Probably gods. Probably not as fun to write in as they look. Okay, I'm just gonna see what they're thinking. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. Ethan. We have to find him. What is he thinking? Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Okay. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. Shit, this what is so here? scary. Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Yay! Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Yes. Okay. See? Okay. Beautiful. If the wall is an illusion. Blood. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, that has to be towards the main gate. Maybe we should. Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Yeah, like the zombie thingy, right? Oh, 
Cooper. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Yeah, okay. Gabe. Should we speak to him? Any luck? Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. I've lost my edge. <laughs> what, what you told me before. If he were out here and, like, feeling something, could you use it to find him? Uh, he'd have to be feeling it, like, a lot. Like, really strong. Even then, I don't know. Guess it was worth a shot. <laughs> He's so positive. Even now. Oh yeah, this. No dice. I need to find something like that dead guy Thanor finds. Nothing like this in the comic. Thank God. My instincts say no. This. But I feel like I'm close. This. This is there. So if the zombie is here, then... Ethan really followed the path in his comic. Finding him just became a lot more doable. Yeah, like... We just have to go towards the gate, right? I don't think the trail of blood led to the toxic Avenger sludge in the comic. I think here. No? No. Front door. I don't see anything like this in the comic. Wait, I got lost. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Hello. Oh, man. Yeah, that music's amazing, right? It's freaking me out properly. Think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> wow. I really don't want Gabe to die, you know? You figured that out from a comic book. Something's howling. Jesus Christ. We need a Daniel. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. He can't die if I stop the game. <laughs> Smart. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you? Legalize it. Oh yeah, they did, right? Oh, look, look. New hey. memory. You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Wow, you surely went quiet after this one. <laughs> mm, I mean, During conversation. What? Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. wasn't in the comic. All right. Still doing that. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? I don't even know where um, Ryan is. Where is he? Move. Shit. Do we go up? This place is so scary. Reminds me of um, 
Resident Evil. She <laughs> wasn't in the comic. Yeah, okay. Wow. She seems so strict with me. We'll find something that was in the comic. There's just some signs. We passed caution like an hour ago. Oh gosh, we keep going up. Bloody how? Window. That happened in the book, in the comic book. Oh. The silo. We're getting close. But it was only understanding of people's feelings. <gasps> Shit. No, it's not that. There will be no stealthing. <laughs> I like the mystery vibe. I agree. This is like in the original game, but like even more. Yeah, look, he climbed that. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Oh, so this Looks doesn't... Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. <laughs> okay, Heads thanks. Up. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> This place reminds me of a game called The Long Dark. I love The Long Dark! Yeah, turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Huh. The wonders never cease. I absolutely love The Long Dark. Like, this is one of my favorite games to, like, play. Wait. Floor panels. Not in the comic. I'm sorry, what are we doing? Am I going back to Ryan? Or what? Where is he? Where is he even? Am I supposed to find him? Control panel. Dead crow. <gasps> Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Oh shit. Oh, I think there are a thing. Mattress. This place is creepy. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Are we supposed to like talk to him? Brian seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. He didn't do anything. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. Oh no, wait, I don't think Eve? Okay. What took you so long? <laughs> you never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? How should I know? I think we're done with the comic book. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... Wow. There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. What's a ravine? What's a ravine? Deck Knight has a thing for crows. Yeah. <laughs> Close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Holy moly. Shit. Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you!
for you, buddy. Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. I think we should. It's so strong. If I get near it, I think we'd have to. Um, We're too heavy. Call for help. Like profe Shit. professionals. What about me, Alex? Are you sure? Right, that's some scary stuff. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Aren't they crazy? Okay. Does it matter? Um, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Uh huh. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. Ah. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Wait. Are you making me do that? Yes, they are. This, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! Not without you. Not without you. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Why was this time triggered? Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. Oh. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. Oh, crap. It's fine. It's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Cape is our anchor. I've got really... Cape is our anchor. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. <gasps> wow, I He's have said him. Making any sense. I need him to calm down. Stitch. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Shit. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. 
he really does look like a Sims 3 character. I can do this. I can do this. Whoa. My, my keyboard went crazy color wise. That's cool. Children problems. <laughs> he looks like Gabe from the New Frontier. I'm Gordon would be afraid, 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 but he's just a story. Just a this is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh shit! Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. Wow, that's... It can't be uh, real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Holy moly. Hey. hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? That thing can't see us. It can't see me. Angle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. We're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Wow. Well, I'm trying to walk, but... Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. Nothing to be scared. Me too. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. One step at a time. Okay. How are we doing this and not some professionals? Do you think the log will break? It's stable. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Shit. Oh gosh. Oh, I picked the wrong answer. This is taking forever, dude. <laughs> He's so quiet. Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> They're just watching me. Well, as long as he... Okay. He's not... <gasps> wow. I was surely wrong. They're good, man. Tight grip. We're close now. Wait, but there's no way that Gabe will die here because... That's it. There will be a whole secret, right? There you go. Who killed him? I got you.
Oh. <laughs> no freaking way. What? Wait, I was supposed to be stopped. Oh, okay. Wow, that was abrupt. Um, <laughs> shit, like they didn't show us anything. Wow, how did that happen so fast? Jesus Christ, guys. Holy crap. That was so, so intense, but also like, shit. Oh, man. Like, I see, <laughs> I see why he did that, right? He had to cut the rope. Uh, Alex told Gabe about... Wait, wait, what does it say? I'm gonna show the... End of chapter, yeah. So her using power will fuck up the environment. No, it's... Uh, it was said before the blow up of the mine was scheduled, so... But they also said that, that Gabe told someone to stop the blow up, right? And yet someone didn't. So, someone clearly did that on purpose. Someone blew up the mine on purpose, knowing that we are there. So, that's what happened, I think. Yeah, that was pretty abrupt. Like, uh, they didn't really let me have all the feels. Let us have all the feels, right? The music was still playing and they went straight to choices. I didn't like that. Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. Wow, we, we were in minority. Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. 70% thought that it's, um, uh, yeah, look, and I was wondering for such a long time. Alex told Gabe about her power, 70%. Wow, it was so easy then. Alex hugged Gabe on the bridge. Yeah, like the handshake would be so cold, man. Alex encouraged Riley to be honest in her interview also. Alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome. Alex enjoyed the song. <laughs> Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a dork. Alex rocked out with Gabe, 95%. Look, there's so many 90% choices in here. Like, doesn't seem like they, they made the choices uh, all that difficult. I don't feel good about Ryan. Yeah, that was really so abrupt. Someone restarted the auto blow up procedure. Yeah, that's what happened. Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. Alex expressed optimism about Haven to Charlotte. Oh. Alex told Jess she's never been a server. Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. Well, duh. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance as a server. Well, yeah. Yeah. Steph lost to Alex in the jukebox game. 36%. Steph beat Alex. Oh, look. I was able to beat the game. I'm still so impressed with myself. Riley broke up with Mark after the fight. 70%. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey, 90%. Wow, okay, this was uh, this was pretty interesting. Although that, that ending was so, so damn abrupt. I'm loving the game so far, you know? Like, it's, 
it's pretty pretty nice uh I, all the characters are likable gabe was pretty likable until he died apparently alex is such an interesting protagonist like i feel like she's more complicated than our previous protagonists in a way maybe except for chloe because she had all that history and such but alex's power definitely makes her the most interesting protagonist because it's just such a big burden to be able to to, ha to have to live with other people's emotions from time to time at least uh, that's a lot to take in your own emotions without having to live with other people's emotions so i guess that does that i think that's I think that was pretty interesting and it's only episode one when I'm already feel, I already feel so attached to Alex. It's pretty cool that up until now I thought the, uh, the most, like the biggest, wait, up until now I thought that one of the most important things about this game would be um, having Seth back. But I didn't focus on Seth as much. Alex is interesting enough to... Um, to just play the game for her you know it's she's so nice and cool she looks cool she acts cool she's complicated like i really enjoy making her feel okay well, that would sound wrong yeah i really enjoy um showing that she still feels so lost and she f sees herself as a creep so i'm gonna play that way like i'm gonna make her feel like less and then hopefully throughout the game she will open up so that's what i'm going to do i feel like this is a real life is strange game like taking the best pieces from the previous ones wasn't here for the full stream but feel like this is so promising it does feel like a true life is strange game so far uh yeah it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happened who did that i'm not going to throw around guesses so far because it's obviously going to make us um suspect um you know ducky wait oh no i think i entered the next chapter no way i've been here for three hours now oh no lanterns wait stop no <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not playing the next chapter right now. These chapters are like three hours long and I'm tired. <gasps> okay. No, don't. I can't be I'm seeing that. I'm not big on speeches. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to play the next chapter tomorrow. Like, uh, either a stream or our recorded. I'm not really certain what, 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 works, what works best for you and for me. Uh, because tomorrow I am off and I would be able to play it or even stream it in the morning but then most of the American guys would be uh, in bed by then most uh, no I'm not going to play chapter 3 now no no <laughs> uh, that's no I still have to like I want to have a perspective like when we uh, do it but although I feel like that whatever that is like a memorial or a funeral thing it should have been in chapter 1 you know so that we could sort of uh you know feel 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 all the emotions and they just they have taken that away from us so that's not that great that they sort of uh, stopped that moment uh i i feel that maybe it should have been more dramatic because they just showed her it was sad and then they cut right to the uh choices i'm only a bit concerned about things like in the light of the series event gabe i'm worried about the romancing element of the game seems creepy ah yeah i see your point like i feel that I, I actually said that in one of the videos theory videos uh before that we experience our brother's death and then we go straight to romancing like I wouldn't want it to look like it comes from a place from of uh, being vulnerable, you know? Like, if you feel vulnerable, then you would more likely make choices that are influenced uh, by your environment, your circumstances at the moment, and not necessarily choices that come straight from your heart. So I wouldn't want that. I agree with that. I wouldn't want that. I would definitely prefer for some time to pass or at least have a um, believable grief period sort of and yeah but you know when i'm thinking about it when i'm thinking about ryan slash steph romance ryan will always be the guy that cut the rope you know 
it's pretty bad for a romance to start that way like what you're going to like be with him and then like oh yeah you're the one who got the rope but also he saved my life ah so there's that anyway i'm going to finish the stream for now because well it's been such a long time now and uh yeah i'm so kind of tired now thank you so much for watching the stream with me and i will either see you tomorrow or i will upload the next chapter tomorrow so either one or the other and i'm going to say goodbye for now thanks again for watching um do remember to follow me on twitter uh that's the place where i would definitely let you know about my plans whether i'm going to upload or or uh, stream it tomorrow so i'll see how i feel about that and yeah you can also join discord yeah this video will be self-uploaded on youtube anyway so it, it's just going to take some time to process yeah thank you so much guys for joining for watching the stream with me it was really amazing having you around and experiencing that with you i'll see you around bye